guys, we are back in the FM League. This time I am playing off against TTTV2. It's Rick Malloy. Say hi, Rick. Hello, mate. You're right. Yeah, I'm good, mate. How are you feeling about today's game? We're sort of struggling down at the bottom of the league at the moment, having both been the victim of mix nine false nines or whatever. Um, it's been a difficult one for you and for me so far. So how do you feel about today's game? I think this has to be the turning point. I think if I get anything less than a draw, I'm completely screwed. But you've got a win to your name, haven't you? I have, but that was against Ben. And it, I don't know what really happened in that game because he beat Mick and then I beat right. him, but then Mick beat me. It's sort of a bit of... <laughs> I couldn't figure out what went right in that game and I certainly couldn't replicate it against Mick, that's for sure. Oh, OK. Well, you've gone for a more conventional shape today, haven't you? Yeah, I decided to do what the others are doing and try out a tactic from my save. I mean, I tried that in the first game, but I obviously picked the wrong one. But this one's been working well for Red Star. So right. I figured, why not give it a crack here and see if we can't at least be a little more defensively solid and notice there's no Jonas Olsen in it this time. Oh, that's a shame. <laughs> But you've got a lethal strike force, though, Costa and Aguero. I'm a bit worried about that, if I'm honest. I'm worried that Costa's not really been firing um, so far. Aguero got a hat-trick against Mick, despite all the wave yeah. of rubbish. But yeah, I don't know, no. Aguero and Costa... I don't know, I want to see if today they'll step up. I've also dropped Oscar. Because mm. it's quite a weird feeling when you score four goals and still lose, isn't it? Yeah, lose by six. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, what, did you, um, what did you make of the predictions for this game? I don't know. This is, like you say, it's a turning point. I think if there's a winner from this game, it could be a game changer for that person. Yeah. But I think if it's a draw, we may still have to keep going back to the drawing board. Yeah, I know. I'm going for 2-1 either way. Yeah, I think so. I think it'll be a lower scoring affair than what we've had recently. And frankly, I'd happily take a 2-1 defeat as long as it's not 10-1. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then, mate. Well, if I see you on the other side, best yep. of luck. You too, mate. Cheers, mate. See you Bye. Bye. Right, guys. I am back, I'm by myself now, and uh, ooh, this is a tough one. You'll notice that I am going for a completely changed system. Those of you who watch my Red Star save will absolutely recognise it. I do, however, have my first choice Pompey save as a backup, but that's more of a defensive-minded kind of system, and I want to make sure that we made the most of having Diego Costa and Aguero. So let's get into things and try and uh, change things up a little bit and try and change our fortunes. Um, just set up the highlights, between highlights nice and high, during highlights up a little bit there key goals replay 2d classic right we are good to go um i'm just hoping to see some improvement over what happened in that last game i think this will want to be a much tighter affair but god knows what could happen it's joel ward i think this is his first start for us or maybe i think he might start the first game actually it's aguero now out to adam lalana uh, notice oscar is also dropped but you would have obviously heard me just talk about that with rick um lalana out wide whips it in and that's gone to no oh my god what the hell happened there oh my life he's gonna be so annoyed he said Czech was his main folly along with Ramirez in the last game and Czech's just gone and done that. I can't believe that. It's 1-0 to SYCFC here. That is very, very unlucky. I don't even know what Czech was playing at. Uh, but we do lead and it is Adam Lalana with the goal that gives us the lead. Now he's going to have to change things soon. Uh-oh, corners. Is he good from corners? Hoof with the big clearance there. Can Lalana reach that? No, he can't. Matters ball back in and it's gone to De Rossi. Now can we break with Aguero? We've got men ploughing forward here. Played out wide to Pinar. Is there a man over? There is. It's Diego Costa. Can we take a 2-0 lead? What is Czech doing again? Oh my goodness, it is 2-0 to Christ on a bike FC. Oh my lord. But this isn't the first time we've taken a 2-0 lead in a game, is it, ladies and gentlemen? Um, so what I'm going to do is, it's sort of like one of those things where I don't know what to change. It's 10 minutes in and we're two goals to the good. He's going to obviously change some things, but the question is what he's going to change and how we play around it. Um, he's already brought on Fraser Forster. <laughs> that is glorious. Forster on now for, for Rick's team. Um, we've had... The better of it, I guess. Barry with the free kick. John Terry with the header and it's caught by Forster. Notice how he didn't let that balloon over his head. That's what goalkeepers are supposed to do. Um, Flanagan, don't let Flanagan try and win this header. What are you doing? Go on, Neuer. There we go. Just collect that nicely done. 15 minutes in and we're, we're looking good. We're two goals to the good here. But what is Rick's... I can't... This is all down to Petr Cech. Both of those goals are as a result of Cech's mistakes. We can't... You know, as much as I think we've played well so far, we don't deserve to be two goals to the good here. Aguero around the corner to, well, Diogo Costa. I didn't even see him there. He's offside anyway. Um, we are on key highlights in case you're interested. It's just uh, sometimes with these network games, things can get a little bit sticky. Um, I am using faster internet today, though, hopefully. Uh, my upload speed should be four times as quick, so we should at least be... Not that that will make much difference. Um, Rick is making another change here. So now, basically, the reason I've got that secondary tactic in mind is so that we can solidify ourselves at the back later on if we need to and bring on someone to play what, we'll, what i'll do is i'll push de rossi back and play him in the advantage role in the pompey tactic basically and see where we go from there um he's obviously going to try and push at us a little bit more but well apparently we're being outnumbered but the possession is 50 50 at the moment so i'll take that for now so 
you know, it's a poor ball actually from Neuer. I would have expected a little bit better from him there. But Rick's long ball into the midfield, and Van Persie does actually win that. Now, oh, there's a space open here if he can find it. Neymar now can just tackle him. Oh, it's a good strike. And on a double save there from Neuer. Probably should have done better um, with the initial effort, but he's managed to at least do that. Oh, Debushi now. Puts the cross in. Mata gets the ball, but he's a support touch from Juan Mata. Debushi, somebody close down Mata, please. Oh, I think they're going to score here. Van Persie has an open goal. I don't know what we're doing defensively there, but it is 2-1 now, and Rick's really come back into this game. And are we about to let this one slip already here? Um, let's see. Close down more. We're just going to turn that off and close down a bit less. Uh, pushing higher up is fine. Maybe try and whip some crosses in. Uh, yeah, I'm actually, we're going to get stuck in. Just try and see where this goes. At the moment, it's fairly even, but we do have the lead, and that's kind of crucial. Although he is starting to clearly come into this game now. We are lethal from corners, though. Barry's ball in, and it's headed away. Aguero will surely get to this first and knock it back to Gareth Barry. He does. Barry, can he find a pass? Barry, Pinar, Terry, of all people, and it is 3-1 to Christ on a Bike FC, and I don't believe it, but John Terry, of all people, has just scored for us, and now we are right back in this and right back in front by two goals. I might be tempted to go to a slightly changed tactic at half-time if we're still winning by three goals to one, or maybe around the 60-minute mark because he is going to try and come at us. If we can get to half-time at 3-1, I will take that. Right, okay, that's good. 3-1 at half-time. Nicely done. Um, let me just see if I can see if he's changed his formation at all. Mm, not really, as far as it would see, but... Mm. It's a shame you can't do in, like individual instructions for players to actually mark individual players, because I would have Van Persie... Like, he's winning a lot of headers at the moment. Right, do we change or do we stick with it for now? I do have a second tactic lined up, um, but I think for now... With the changed instructions, I'm going to just stick with this until sort of 65 minutes, perhaps. He's going to obviously do something at half-time, and I'm content with what we've got. We've got a two-goal lead. We're, we've are we only conceded once in the first half of a game, and I don't know how many times... I don't think we've ever done that. I think that might be the first time we've got to half-time without conceding. Also, I don't know if this is a stat yet, but I don't think there's actually... Anyone's kept a clean sheet yet in this entire league. Um, there's a few people who've only conceded one in a game... Uh, Mick did it, but and Paul's done it, definitely, but not much else there. We're 3-1 up, but we do need to make sure that we don't just let some silly shit happen. Oh, Neuer, what are you doing, son? Terry, and get back in the goal. Get back in your hole. There we go. Terry into Barry now. There should be an option here of Diego Costa. Can he drop it off for Aguero? He can. Make the return run. And, oh, he's been fouled, surely. Surely he's been fouled? No? Okay. I'll accept that. I'm just wondering... Like maybe we could drop a little deeper in a bit. Although I might do that when we change the tactic. And that's a good ball through. And Van Persie's onto this here. And uh-oh. Uh-oh. Please don't be a red car for Robert Huth. Van Persie went down like he'd been shot. Oh, he's the last man. Oh, you're joking. Oh, no. You know what that means, ladies and gentlemen. Right. It's... Well, firstly, Jonas Olsen. Um... Oh, my God. I can't believe that's happened. That was disappointing. Um, okay, so Jonas Olsen's going to come in here. That's our first change. I'm going to bring drop Pinar back there. And we're going to bring Oscar on on the right. Um, Aguero is going to be sort of an advance forward by himself, essentially. Um, the mentality now is going to be defensive, obviously. We're basically going to just have to try and hang on for the rest of this game. We're going to be more disciplined. Uh, we're going to pass into space. And shoot on sight that's I think we might have just fucked it so to speak guys I think we might be done here um, I think Rick is probably going to score three goals in the next 40 minutes I don't think that we're going to be able to stop that also we're going to drop deeper I think as long as Van Persie doesn't score this free kick we should be okay he's going to absolutely pound me for the rest of this game I can't believe what Robert Hoof's done you mustachioed bellend and Oh, well done, Neuer at least collects that. If we come out of this game with anything now, I will see it as a bonus, because he... Hoof has really let us down there. Massive style. Um, I'm tempted to even go and contain, but we'll see... Oh, no. Are you kidding me? Uh, we don't really have much, many options off the bench there. And Kolka, Kirakesh, and it's in the back of the net from Stephen Kolka. Um, okay. I don't really see much option as far as bringing off someone to put... No, I can't bring off... I can't bring him off. It just it can't happen. Um, but what we are going to try and do now is just go on... Con oh, that's the wrong one, isn't it? Is go on contain. And just try and literally 
do everything we can to avoid conceding a goal now. And even if we have to hang on to a draw, um, can't believe it. <laughs> we were doing so well in this game. Really were not dominating at all by any stretch, but we were two, you know, three one up. Not cruising, but we were certainly not looking like we were going to go and concede a hat load of goals. And I think he's probably got time to get two more here. And I don't think our defence is going to be strong enough to deal with the likes of Bale and so on and so forth. Apologies, guys. There's a call coming in on the other line there. I'm just going to, I'm going to have to ignore it. So apologies if you can hear Skype in the background here. I will probably remove that channel um, from this particular bit of... Oh, cleared away again. That is quite annoying. Um... Oh, mate. Let's see. Colgate. I can't unfortunately turn off Skype at the moment because if I click it, it will close down the uh, screen cap thing I've got recording in the game. So hopefully you can't hear Skype, but I'll just cut it out. Ten minutes to go and we are technically still in front, but it is literally backs against the wall time. And I think that's going to be the beating of us. I think if we can get away with a, a three-all draw, I'd take it. Aguero here. Just take it to the corn flag. Go on, Sergio. There's nobody up there and he's had a shot and Forster saved it. I can't believe that that counts as a... A thing worthy of seeing in a replay so we've still got the chance I suppose from corners Gareth Barry with the ball in Olsen with the flick on and that is oh Colker got the header on it okay I think we're going to end up conceding a late equaliser unfortunately that's going to be the the sort of killer for us here Rick's making more changes I assume he's just going to try and go for it in the end um, we're going to hit early crosses We've got eight minutes to go. Can we hang on? I don't think we can, you know. I feel like we're going to lose this ball at some point and we'll just get broken on. Barry into Aguero. There's no support. He's going to lose it. Or will he just take it himself? Aguero off the crossbar on the follow-up there. And wow, we very nearly could have taken the lead. Uh, not taken the lead, but retaken the lead by a decent margin. If he scores that, I think we win. But it does look as though we are probably not going to, in the end, win this. Oh, if we concede now, I'd be absolutely gutted. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Yes! I don't believe it. We've done it. The 10 men of Christ on a Bike FC look to have done it, and i absolutely gutted for Rick right now. And there we have it. We've won by three goals to two with 10 men. Holy shit snacks, ladies and gentlemen. Right, I'll be back in a minute when we get to Rick. Hello. Hello. Well, it's good to see Per Check out another good game, isn't it? Oh, when that... Gee, I couldn't believe that. I can't I believe said your luck. in the commentary on that <laughs> game, when Lalana did that, I thought... I didn't know why it was a highlight because I saw the ball coming towards him and then he just left it. Yeah. But then I don't know what he was doing on the second goal either. No. I, I saw you substituted him and I thought... Straight away. Then, well, if anything, that was probably the smartest move in the game, really. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because at least... Um, oh, God. At least Fraser Forster made some saves. Yeah. Got his hand on the ball. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Always a bonus. Yeah. Um, I have to say, I think you were massively unlucky not only to not get a point but to not even win that. Yeah, this just annoyed me. I think that opening 10 minutes has rocked the whole team. And then I made a few changes a couple of times to try and get things back. I thought I was on the move towards the end. and I thought you were going to... The moment Hoof went, yeah. I thought, right, no, I'm done. And yeah. it just and once you got a goal back... Because you got a goal back relatively quickly to make yeah. it 3-2. And I thought, right, there's only one way this is going. Let's park all flavours of buses. <laughs> Oh, this is a frustrating game. It was a close one. We called it. We said it was going to be close. Yeah, just, I didn't expect it. You should have won that. Yeah. I, uh, I think there's no doubt about it. I mean, oh, dearie me. Oh, it's another nail biter. It's That's a... the second 3 2 in a row for me. Oh, well, at least, I, hey, I only conceded two goals in a game. Yeah. That's my best defensive game of the <laughs> season. <laughs> I've still got faith in the Ricky Van Gaal formation, though. I don't think it's too bad. It's no. just a bit of bad luck at the bloody defence in it really what I would like to point out is something I've literally just noticed in your team ratings Kirikesh mm. got a 4.9 awful that, is that the worst we've had I think it is I think it is it is quite bad shameful oh. Oh, but I'm going to be missing Robert Hoof for my next game so yeah who have you got that can play that I suppose you can switch things around and have Sanya there couldn't you well I've got Jonas Olsen uh, there's always that <laughs> <laughs> hey, he came on and played a 6.3. Not bad. He Not did bad. all right. He did all right. I only made two subs. I just noticed that. Ah. Ooh, Crikey, Fraser really. Forster, 7.7. 7. He did all right Neuer. when he came on. <laughs> yeah, Neuer was not great today either. Yeah, where was he for that Van Persie goal? Uh, exactly. Like, just... I don't know what happened there. My defence just seemed to stop marking people. I wish you could set up, like, individual player instructions. Yeah. It's really missing from this mode, because you can't mark people. It is, yeah. It is frustrating. Same as team talks as well, though. Oh, I could use those. Yeah, definitely. Oh, oh mate. 
Well, I almost feel bad like that I shouldn't. <sighs> no, I don't feel bad. It's the name of the game. I said no, this it is to Jason as well. Game, but like, <laughs> you've played way too well in some of your games to have one point at this stage. Yeah, I'm waiting for just a bit of luck. To be honest, I think that opening ten minutes though that was just crap all over Malloy Day, wasn't it? Really, I've done that a few times though. Yeah, and. I don't know what it is, but we seem to be good, especially with Lalana in the opening 10 minutes. But for me, like Ben said in the uh, FN Extra from last week, it you you clearly aren't going to be down there for that long. And I think once the playoff comes, people will be very surprised what they see. Yeah, I think so. We'll see. I think there's a few changes that need to be made, but I think we're getting there. Yeah. We're getting there. Oh, dear. And I think that's where we'll wrap up the video. Yes. Um, people on my channel watching this... Go and watch that opening goal from Lalana on his channel. I want to see what the uh, the, the reaction was there. And people watch. Sorry, go on. No, no, that's okay. Go on. And people watching it on my channel, please, for the love of God, go check out his reaction to <laughs> check missing that. I, I want to see it right now. <laughs> I was fuming. Absolutely <laughs> I can, fuming. I can only imagine, mate. Crikey. Okay. Well. To watch every game, you need to subscribe to every channel to see every game from every angle. All the description details are down below. Check it out. Give some love to the FM League as well. Hit the old like button for this one and follow everybody on Twitter to keep up to date with what's going on. And take it easy. Uh, yeah, and also, guys, remember to check out FM Extra every weekend at uh, 12 o'clock on Dr. Benji FM's channel where you can see highlights of all the games, of course, as well as um, interviews and general banterliciousness. <laughs> That's a word. That is a word. Barney. Bantaliciousness. Bantaliciousness. That's my next formation. Ooh. Cheeky. <laughs> All right, guys. Take it easy. See you later. See you, guys. <laughs>